how to make handwriting workbooks in PowerPoint. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel. We'll show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I'm doing, I'm showing you how to actually create handwriting workbooks in PowerPoint. Now, the problem with creating these before was actually finding fonts that were for commercial use and free now often you could either find fonts that were free but were for only personal use and you could sometimes buy the correct commercial use license well the fonts that i have found now i've checked that they are fine for commercial use and i'll be showing you them later when we get further into the video but first let's have a look at the actual niche on amazon so i've typed in the main keyword which is handwriting workbooks for kids now you've got to remember that you don't actually need to create handwriting books for kids you can also create handwriting workbooks for adults i myself have terrible penmanship and i need to actually improve it and do actually buy certain books like this to try and improve my penmanship but again you can actually create these books yourself so what I, there is over four thousand but look at the bsrs on that so that book is 19 in the whole of amazon.com so don't forget that the different amazon markets have their own bsr and this one here is twenty six thousand. And they're all pretty low down. Now, a lot of schools are still in lockdown. Some have actually gone back and then some come back out. So parents are still wanting different types of penmanship books. Now, this one here started out as KDP books. They've done all sorts of books, maths books, writing books, letter writing. And now they're using their own imprints as well, the ISBN very much like modern kid press and look at their bsrs now if we use helium 10 chrome extension which is free and i'll leave a link down in the description for helium 10 you can grab your um, extension there and we can actually see the sales revenue in this which is over seven hundred and sixty five thousand dollars for the month and if we actually look at the top selling book that we know is number 19 it is bringing in a hundred and sixty five thousand dollars revenue obviously that's not cost that's not advertising costs and we don't actually know what it costs for print costs because this book is not a kdp book and that's the problem now we know that this one is and they go in they start off at a very low price to get going so it's a cost leader to them so they're actually losing money when they start but then they start increasing their pricing because this is by the same group and then they get their prices back up once they've got loads of reviews and once they are starting to make money so that is their policy there but again they're making over twenty one thousand in revenue now we know that they will not be making a lot of money on that they'll be probably making 50 cents per sale on that book and they are advertising so it is a loss leader at the moment but this one here they will be making more money on that even though it only says nineteen thousand on this because they'll be making more money from that income so that's that one there then you can also do handwriting workbooks for adults now this has got less than the other one it's only got over a thousand there and again it's print hand workbooks for adults and cursive handwriting as well which is very popular and lettering itself is a growing art people want to do more lettering more uh, calligraphy so if you're into that you can actually create those types of books to be showing people like this one here modern calligraphy is doing very well and its bsr is 16,930. again we can use the helium 10 chrome extension tool and have a look here and this one is 315,000 again the same company here they're selling this book for 5,811 they're doing it at 675 so the policy once they've done the cheap drive the traffic get the reviews um they then go up to 675 but they're still getting those sales in so they are making quite a pretty penny on creating these books now what else are they doing besides that i do not know i don't know what other 
methods they're using to advertise. First and foremost, these are the types of books that you need to be creating these sorts of letters. Now, you can make them unique by putting in sentences. You can be putting in sight words. If it's for adults, you can be putting in old quotes, public domain quotes, but I would be careful with quotes and I have created a previous video on it. Check it out. It'll be in the top right hand corner. So what I'm using here is I'm actually using these fonts here that are called print dash and I found them on font space and it comes out here. And I also made sure when I looked for them that they were commercial free. They've also done Learning Curve and it's created by this guy here, J Jess Letham. And he's also frequently known as Blue Vinyl Fonts. And then he's got some that you can purchase and he's also got free ones. So these are the free fonts, as you can see. And then there is a link here to look at the terms of use. So if we have a look here, it says all free fonts at BV fonts are freeware. You may use them in a personal or commercial work. And that is the key that we want to know. If you've downloaded Jess Latham, frequently known as Blue Vinyl Free Font from an archive, so and that font is not available here or default, please ask permission for using. So it is available from here. I will leave this link here for you because he also does the print clearly ones and all the cursive ones and then there's also some dingback ones as well that you can be using some really nice different fonts like this one here princess 2 you could be using as a coloring book creating that combining it with different things as well so these are all fantastic and he's also got some really nice paid for fonts as well like this enticing script which is nice, set in script, head turn, all of these are fantastic. So let's dig in. So here we are in PowerPoint. I've opened up PowerPoint and I have set the size to eight and a half by 11. I haven't done it for bleed, but this is usually the size of the books that we see people using. Now, this one here that I used was print dash because before I looked into his website to check, I didn't realize that he'd actually got the lines built in. Yes, these lines are built in. So for example, so if I go here and then add in the extra letters, you can actually see that it does all of the letters. Now there's one problem with all of these is they haven't got the lines going down to actually show kids how to actually where to start, start from that point and going down. But you can actually use PowerPoint to actually put in shapes and arrows. So you could actually draw an arrow down here, change the color of it, and you might even get away with changing that. You could move it a little bit closer. And then you could put a text box in and put a number in. And that could show people that that's where they first start. Now that might take a bit of work, but it would actually create something unique. Now, if you get fonts that have not got the lines and you do want them, all you need to do is actually create a table. And all you need is two rows on one cell. So if you click there, it's created me this table here. All I need to do is change the shade into no fill, change it so that it's got a top border and a bottom border, then click on this one, change what it looks like to the dashed line there, and then I could just click bottom and it gives me the nice bottom ones. And then if you've not got the text, the one with the rule, just type in B or A, and then just go and change it. Now that one is printed bold. So it hasn't done it, click on it, printed bold, and then change the size, 88, and then just move it to where you think it should be. And that's basically how you do that. But the beauty of this, it's also got the learning curve and it's got all the different ones there as well. So he, I've actually got
the learning curve as well has got all the rulers as well. So if we change the font, change that one. And it's learning curve. And there's also a ruler as well. Dashed. I think it's wrong. Okay, cool. That's changed it there. Just trying to remember what it's called. So all you need to do is actually go to the site, download it, make sure you read the terms of use and then install it on your system. So I hope this has helped you and you can get on with making some early learning workbooks or handwriting workbooks for adults and you can be selling them on Etsy or Teacher Pay Teacher or on your own website. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the little B above my head to subscribe. Also check out my previous video on how to create line drawing images and also check out my quotes video.